Boy, have you decided which school you want to go to? Uh, on go NUS and we pivot. <laughs> N U S National University of Sex National University of Singapore For the past 3 years NUS had about 26 sexual misconduct cases and 3 undergarment theft <sighs> Underwear also want to steal bro Stop being a out of the 26 cases, 18 were sex voyeurism of male and female. Who are we kidding? Male. Which sausage want to see another sausage? I believe majority of them are women. 5 cases of outrage modesty. If those who don't know what is outrage modesty, go and google lah. Okay, just google. And 3 cases of harassment through text messages or videos and also indecent exposure if sexting just say sexting lah oh shit so here's the kicker out of those cases 17 of the sexual offenders were suspended for just one or two semesters what do you mean none of all those students were expelled from school and out of those 17 cases, a number of them are multiple sexual misconduct offenders. Yes, they don't do it one time. They do it more than one time. But only suspended for one or two semesters. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Later, I will read. Fuck your own face! And the heaviest punishment that they could give them, ban from school hall, write an apology letter, and fine 500 to 1000 one minute you can take the apology letter and go shove it where the sun don't shine and those students that had multiple sex offense they were nearly expelled from school i repeat nearly when they heard that they were nearly expelled from school they went to appeal at the school board and what the school board say no need to expel just suspended for one or two semester mm. If it's your own kids that is to go through all this bullshit, suspend one or two semester, is it? I'm not cursing you. Oh, of all these cases, there is only three cases that I really want to elaborate on. The first case I would like to talk about regarding Miss Monica Bay. Miss Monica Bay was a student at NUS and she was showering in the Yusuf Hall. While showering, she noticed someone sticking his phone under the cubicle and taking a video of her showering. She was shocked and scared and she decided to open the door and check on who was out there but the person had already ran away. So she decided to go to the security and inform them of this matter. While going through the CCTV, they realized that there was actually someone by the name of Mr. Nicholas Lim going around checking into different female toilet cubicle looking for anyone that was around. Unfortunately, Miss Monica Bay was there at the point of time showering. He took the chance of whipping out his phone and filming her naked. Miss Monica was so annoyed with the whole thing and angry that she lodged a complaint to the board the school board, I mean, and also to the police for further investigation. And what did the school board give Nicholas Lim? 12 months suspension and banned from entering the hall. Are you kidding me? He was also asked to send her an apology letter. Miss Monica was so annoyed with the whole thing that she decided to go to social media to seek justice she posted on social media of what happened to her the public saw what she was going through and supported her in this ordeal miss monica was really pissed off with the whole thing and she even went to the straits time for an interview to tell them her side of the story mr nicholas lee at that point of time was working for great eastern as a final final as a financial advisor he was suspended from his job which he eventually quit apparently mr nicholas lim is from powerful family 
I guess that's why the school board decided to only suspend him and write a stupid miserable f***ing letter. There was no justice for Miss Monica Bay. Mr. Nicholas Lim is still out there doing his bullshit. Apparently, Mr. Nicholas Lim went to the public to apologize. He don't know what he was thinking. She could forgive him for what he has done. He also indicated that he was intoxicated. But according to the CCTV, you were f***ing sober, bro. You were obviously thinking with your dick and thought you could have a cheap thrill by taking video of an innocent lady showering. If you are so horny, go online, go to Pornhub, go to YouPorn, go to TubeTube, go to PewPube, for all I care, and go satisfy yourself, you sick cunt. The second case that we are going to talk about is about Mr. Tae Soon Hang, who's an ex-law professor in NUS. He apparently had sex with Ms. Dering Ko, who's a law student, for good grades. After further investigation from the board of NUS and the police, they realised that actually Ms. Dering Ko is having a relationship with Mr. Tae Soon Hang. She has bought multiple expensive gifts for him in return he gets sexual pleasure. Mr. Tay has even got Miss Darinko pregnant after multiple sexual encounter in his NUS law office couch. You dirty, dirty bastard. Dirty boy. The girl also too much lah. After Miss Darinko found out that she was pregnant, she wanted to get an abortion. She had to pay for her own abortion because Mr. Tay didn't have money to pay. You are a f law professor. You are probably earning about 200 over thousand dollars. What? F no money to pay. More like trying to not let your family find out, right? Because you are married with one kid. He fucking cheated! The verdict for Mr. Tay's case is that he had to serve five months of jail. Law license was terminated and he couldn't teach in NUS anymore. We got him. Uh, yeah. The third case that I want to talk about is the most famous one of them lot. It's about Mr. Terence Xiao. He apparently molested a 20-year-old lady at the Serangoon MRT station. He touched her thighs twice and touched her private once. Oh, you touched my ta la la. What exactly happened is that Mr. Terence saw this lady came into the train and she had really nice long legs and she was wearing a shorts. He said that he felt the urge to touch her. He touched the outside of her left thigh first. She felt uncomfortable and decided to cross her leg. So he proceeded to touch her right thigh. She got really uncomfortable and upset and she decided to leave and alight at the Serangoon MRT station. This bastard, I don't know why, went down the train because his urge, urge, tell him to alight to... I'm sorry, I'm just getting very worked up. But his urge told him to alight to follow her, which he did, and he followed her up an escalator. His stupid urges later lead him to touching her in her right butt cheek. This caused the lady to scream and shout. It frightened him that he decided to walk away. So the lady decided to complain to the station manager at the Serangoon MRT station. An hour later, she went to the police station and lodged a police report on Mr. Terence. Three days later, the police found Mr. Terence Xiao and arrested him for his sexual misconduct case. Or should I say, more or less, bro. They bing all the way! So here's the thing. This is not his first time doing this. Back in 2016, he had a similar incident that happened to him. And nothing. Thing was given no punishment, no nothing. Freedom. The police was asking Mr. Terence how many times of such disgusting nature or disgusting act has he ever done? He couldn't even remember how many times. Do you remember? The amazing part is during his trial. The prosecution told the judge at that point of time, Ms. Jasvinder Kaur. This type of sexual offences case is really severe and deserves expulsion from NUS 
and also jail time. This stupid judge, Judge Vinder Kaur, told the prosecution that his inability to control his urges is a minor problem. Your face is a minor problem. And she also said him touching her thigh was just a brief brush or a brief touch. Brief brush. Brief brush. Say brief brush. Five times fast. Brief brush. Brief brush. Brief brush. Brief brush. Brief brush. Brief brush. The defense attorney for Mr. Terence Xiao said that he is trying to seek help to cure his urges and his problems. The defense lawyer, he also said that he has amazing academic results. Stupid judge, Judge Vinder Kaur, agreed and called his offenses minor. If you commit once, you want to say you got inability to control your urges and all, you want to seek professional help, okay, benefit of a doubt, I understand. But this is more than one time. This is so many times and you are saying that it's a minor offense. Are you stupid or are you cop to not see this? Really, not see this. If it was your kid that had been molested, what would you do? If I was a parent and my kid is molested, that guy would have been dead long ago and I would be the one in jail. Yes, I'm getting really worked up because this is bullshit. This is utter bullshit. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that just because you have good academic results, you can do anything you want? You can commit murder? You can rape? You can molest? You can steal? What is it? What are you trying to say? The devil in me is coming out. Speak of the devil. And by the way, Terence Xiao, if you're watching this somehow, I'm telling you now this straight, that not even God can help you lah bro. You are going to rot in hell and die. You understand? Die. This bastard was sentenced to only 21 months of probation and 150 hours of community service. He was not expelled from the school because of his good academic result. Hey baby, you okay man? The board in NUS. You guys really need to sort your bullshit, man. Because it's not a minor issue. This kind of issue shouldn't happen in schools as prestigious as NUS. NUS is well known worldwide for being a really prestigious school. But if you are trying to say that, if you got good grades, you can do whatever the f you want, then you are just talking bullshit. I mean, look at even the freshman orientation in NUS. They would do sexual explicit acts. They would ask female students things like, which bodily fluid from which guy would you swallow? Who the f say such things to young girls like that? And they will even make them do lewd acts that is close to sexual encounters. If your freshman orientation is not monitored and is not doing a good job of making sure some of this shit doesn't happen, then how the f you want all these kids, especially those guys, to think straight. In conclusion, please, NUS, go sort out your bullshit. This is not a trivial matter. This is really a big thing. If it was my daughter that had went through that shit, I would have burned down the school a long time ago. So, this is a warning to all parents and all NUS female students out there. Just watch your back. And just please take care of your kids. And also for guys who are in NUS, if you are so funny and you need some sexual release, Please, go and find a social escort and Geylang or I don't care wherever you want to go, just go and go and satisfy yourself. Don't be doing stupid shit like taking video of women showering and uh, molesting girls and all that kind of bullshit. What do you get for you? You don't get shit. You go to school to study. Some people don't even have school to go to and study. So, if you have the privilege, go and study, you stupid And if you don't have the money, nah. Take this money and go and find yourself a prostitute, you stupid f <sighs> That felt good, man. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's just how I feel about what's going on with NUS. So I do sincerely hope that there'll be changes that will be done with the school board. Let's put a stop to this bullshit. Please do go subscribe my channel and also like my videos. Really appreciate everybody's support. And last but not least, ladies, please take care of yourself. Guys, please conduct yourself properly. And NUS board, please do something about this. Or if not, you can go f yourself. Peace. I'm out.